maeneo mbalimbali ili kupinga dhana potovu inayochukua mkondo tofauti katika jamii ya kuwaona kama viumbe wa jikoni na kuanza kukumbatia nafasi za uongozi ili kujibidisha na kujendeleza kimaisha. Faith Anyula alikutana na baadhi yao katika kaunti ya Kiambu na kuzamia taarifa ifuatayo. Ndio tabia ya kizazi cha siku hizi eti mwanamke angalia anasawiriwa kama kiumbe cha jikoni dhaifu na ambacho hakijiwezi kujisimamia ile kwa wengi kutoka maeneo tofauti wa nchini wanazidi kubadili dhana hii napokutana nao katika kaunti ya Kiambu wakiwa wamekongamana katika hafu ya kuangazia umuhimu wa mwanamke bidi utenda kazi dhulma za wanawake pamoja na uongozi katika jamii Wakati huo huo mashirika yasiyo ya kiserikali kama vile Dadas Rising yamejitokeza kuangazia sauti ya wanawake kwa ushirikiano na shirika la Center of Adolescence kuona kuwa wanawake wamejitosa kwa wingi katika ulingo uongozi. Editor Adhiambo mmoja kati ya wanawake hawa kutoka mtaa wa Mabanda wa Kibra anasema kuwa wanawake wanafaa kuanza kukumbatia nafasi za uongozi katika sekta mbalimbali humo nchini. Napenda tukiangalia tu katika manyumba kuna unpaid care work wale wanawake wanafanya kazi mm. wanafanya kazi kwa zaidi kutoka saa 12 ama saa ya usiku mpaka saa tisa tena ya usiku mm. so wale wanawake unapata jamii hata haiwapei fedha mm. hata pia kuna ule mwanamke mwingine anafanya biashara nje lakini pia akikuja kwa nyumbani anafanya kazi Anashikilia kuwa kuna mikakati kabambe ambayo wanazidi kukaza angawa waone kuwa masuala wanawake yamepewa kipaumbele katika jamii na leo ni hapa Kiambu County kwa sababu ya masuala ya wanawake na uongozi tunaangalia uongozi kwa katika kila sekta sekta ya biashara sekta ya poli, ya kisiasa na sekta zote hata ule mwanamke akiwa nyumbani yeye bado ni kiongozi so leo tumekuja hapa kujumuisha pamoja tuongeze tuongeze wazo letu na pia tuongeze nguvu kando na hayo Anahoji kuwa wanawake si dhaifu kwani wanaweza kukumbatia nafasi za uongozi na kupata fursa ya kufanya kazi yote ile. Pia tunataka uh, kupush vitu kama policies ifeve wanawake ndio wanawake wote wajumuishwe na kila mwanamke pale anafanya biashara kuna zile laws zinamcover na zinamprotect na mwanamke pia anaweza pata profits. Ule akiwa nyumbani pia anaweza kuwa analipwa kwa kufanya kazi kwa nyumba yake. Anasema kuwa amewahi gombea kiti cha ubunge katika mtaa wa Kibra na licha ya kutofaulu anazidi kuwa angalia na ari na ukakamavu kuwa ipo siku azimio lake la kuwa mbunge katika mtaa wa Kibra litatimia. Hakuna kazi imetengewa wanaume lakini pia tunafaa kuangalia health yetu. Kimaumbile kwa kimaumbile tuko na difference kuna venye wanawake wanaume wameumbwa na wanawake wameumbika. Uh -huh. Kuna zile kazi ule mwanamke amepata mtoto hawezi fanya uh -huh. kwa sababu amepata mtoto na wakati huo that woman is so weak. Uh -huh. Lakini wakati mwanamke ako kama mimi, ule mwanamke ako stable uh -huh. na ana hata maradhi yoyote, uh -huh. anaweza fanya ile kazi yoyote mwanaume anafanya. Recho Mashua ambaye alinufaika kutokana na kongomano hili, alikuwa na haya ya kusema kuhusiana na kongomano hilo. That arising is generally about amplifying the woman's voice mm -hmm. and I think the importance of that arising to this day and age especially in Kenya in 2019 mm -hmm. is um, towards um, the promotion of the voice, voice of the woman mm -hmm. which sometimes we feel like it has been really deserted. Mm -hmm. um, I know our constitution give us, gives us the allowance of the two third, one third gender rule mm -hmm. and so far our, as much as our constitution stipulates so, mm -hmm. our parliament is unconstitutional mm -hmm. meaning our needs have not been met within parliament and so far we are in we are now in 2019 two years after the general election mm -hmm. and so far no one is working towards the two third gender rule mm -hmm. so i think amplifying the voice of the woman mm -hmm. also gives us a voice to together Judy Mwaniki mkurugenzi wa shirika la Wounded Healers aligusia maswali ya unyanyasaji wa jinsia ya kike inayowafanya wanawake kutokumbatia nafasi za uongozi na za kazi 
As an organization, our main mandate and mission and vision is to see a society that is free of gender and sexual-based violence. Not only for women, we know for women it's a higher percentage, and for men it's lower, but at least for everyone in society, but mainly women, because women, we carry the most burden of this sexual violence. Mumbi Mungai na Masi Karanja ni munguni mwanawake ambao pia wakusazo nyuma wakisema kuwa iwapo serikali itazidi kukaza kamba dhidi ya kuziba mapengo yanayowadharau wanawake taifa la Kenya litaenda mbali kimaendeleo Particularly young women, encouraging them and showing them some of the ropes, not just myself, but a lot of my friends who also ran in 2017 um, from their experiences and their challenges and their setbacks, mm -hmm. and also our own victories. The challenges that women get uh, in leadership uh, mostly is to being victimized. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to put on a certain clothes, you have to True. behave in a certain way, right. you have to talk in a certain manner. And you see, that one limits us. Haya kijiri dhulma ya kijinsi ya hasa miongoni mwanawake ni sola linolo zidi kutiliwa mkazo ili kuzuia visa vile vazidi kushukudiwa homo nchini. Women, please, because we shall move from here to the next. Ukuvisa vya dhuluma za kijinsia vikuwa vimesheni katika sehemu mbali mbali hapa nchini wanawake wanatoa wito kwa serikali kutenga nafasi sawa za uongozi Faith Nyula KUTV County ya Nairobi